All right, everybody. Is this thing working? Is this thing on? Let's try this out. Can you hear me, everybody? Hello, let's try it out. Hello. All right, is this thing working? Is this thing on? Is this thing working? Is this thing on? In the hallway of a high school, anywhere USA, there was a bully that would pick on a different kid, and it seemed like every day. He had this pack of back-slapping buddies that would laugh and back him up all the way, and this screaming girlfriend that would make believe in everything he'd say. Is this thing working? Is this thing on? Because then one day this kid that he'd beat up a couple times before realized to even his own surprise that he probably could indeed take more. And with that, he hatched the evil plan to make that devil pay. He walked up to him in the middle of the gym and he found the nerve to say, You gonna hit somebody today? You gonna hit me too. In fact, you're going to hit me every day because now I'm picking on you. And as crazy as it all might sound right now, I'm not stopping until I'm through. It's too late to beg for mercy. Is this thing working? Is this thing on? Because that bully, he just laughed and laughed, of course. And so did all of his friends. And he beat that poor kid unmercifully for days and days on end only slightly less impressively each time to that pretty girl and all of his friends, who would eventually, secretly, start hoping for that kid to win. So is this thing working? Is this thing on? You know, you'll never hear him say this now because he thinks we still don't know. But winning this battle every day cost our bully the war a long time ago. And of all the scars he's got to show for every blow that kid sneaks in, the worst one is probably knowing that tomorrow he's going to have to get up and fight that kid again. Is this thing working? Is this thing on? Is this thing working? Is this thing on? Sing on. Surprised, he probably could indeed take more. And with that, he has the evil plan. They're gonna make that devil pay. Walked up to him in the middle of the gym, and he found the nerve to say, "Say you gonna hit somebody today? You gonna hit me too? In fact, you gonna hit me every day because I now I'm picking on you. It's crazy." Laughed and laughed, of course, and so did all of his friends. He beat that kid unmercifully for days and days on end. Only slightly less impressively to that girl and all of his friends, who would eventually, secretly, start hoping for that kid to win. Is this thing working? Is this thing on? Is this thing working? Is this thing?
this cause he thinks people still don't know Well in that battle every day cost our bullet a war a long time ago And of all the scars that they got to show for every blow that kid sneaks in The worst one's knowing that tomorrow he gonna have to get up and fight that kid again Is this thing working?
right. <laughs> what are we going to say? One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Mexico, pretty women. 
can probably put a smile on my face. Don't push me, cause I don't want it anymore. My bags are packed and I'll go running for the door. Sooner or later, I just gotta get away. You'll get an earful of the words I gotta say. doing i didn't think i'd make it did you think i'd make it i didn't think i'd make it but i made it this is dj biggie Boutte, and you listen to the swamp jacuzzi episode 105 i'm coming at you live on spreaker because i had a lot of issues today lots of stuff going on everything i turned turn to shit it's just one of those days you know some days some days some days you blast off some days you just smoke Today, I just sputtered and buttered and turned to shit. I got a dog who's got separation anxiety. I tried to walk him. Took him all the way, you know, about an hour and a half down the road to the store to get cigarettes. And I was like, look, buddy, I'm just going to go in here one minute. Just take a side of the tree. It's like, you stay here, you stay here. He freaked out, freaked out, like got out, got out of his harness, like ran, ran up back to the door before I even got into the door, and like we did this about two or three times, and, and through uh, I don't know, a thorn bush, I don't know, back back in back when I was a kid, we called him Sticker Bush, and he, so he, so he had a sticker bush and had stickers all over him, so I had to pick all that out of him, and like he was just so scared, and I was I was, I was getting mad at him. And then, uh, then, he, then he puked, he puked all over me, and he's like, oh, like, did you, this is for real anxiety, man, you know, like, I feel that, so, so, man, you know, I love him, and it's cool, and, you know, we're gonna work through it, but, yeah, so that last song is actually for, for my buddy Roscoe, Ditch Digger, I got a dog that won't stop pissing on, won't stop pissing on the floor, and, uh, yeah, so, and then before that one, we heard, uh, Johnny Law, Wayne the Train, Hancock, and I was doing a little uh, Louisiana shout-out there, and, uh, before that one, I want more Mojo back by Scott H. Byram, and, of course, is this thing working? Is this thing on? Todd Snyder. Yeah, you right. So, I'm gonna do a show, uh, I couldn't even get my mix thing working, it's just, it's been one of those nights, I was supposed to do a show, like, two hours ago, and it never happened, so I finally got this little like speaker studio up and going so i'm just gonna play around on this one and i'm probably gonna have to do three shows within this one to make my one show that i was gonna do but that's all right so uh you know like i was saying sometimes everything you touch turns to shit so that's where i'm kind of at at this moment so let's hear a uh, kill devil H- hills doing drinking too much and yeah you know you right
some get burned and some shine. Please pour me another wine. I'm not the guy you perceive. You tell me that I'm drinking too much. You know I can never believe. You tell me.
Hey, DJ Bigger Boutte. Just calling in for a little request by CK Stone King called We Gone Boogaloo. See you soon. Thank you. 